scrapbook and cards today friends this is Allie Dosdell and I am so excited to share with you a project using the new alphabet punch board from we are memory keepers this is a layout with a picture of my husband and I and this is um, uh, this is actually a place where we went to on our honeymoon and then went back nearly 20 years later and visited with our kids so it was really fun but anyways um, I really wanted to have fun with the big title on this page so I used the alphabet punch board and I punched two sets of you know for each letter one one that's sort of like a background or a shadow and then one with some pretty patterned paper um, and then I actually punched this large heart accent here with the alphabet punch board and I will show you how to do that um, and then I just used the pretty um, flower girl collection from We Are Memory Keepers and included some wood veneer, some die cuts or ephemera pieces, um, a little piece of acetate here that's printed um, to kind of emphasize our, our faces there, um, and added a little printed journaling. So, um, all right, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use the tool to make one of these letters and then also how to make the heart. So let me just give you like a little tour of this tool. Okay, it's just like a lot of the punch boards. It's got um, a cutting feature here with the blade, and then it's got a couple of punch features. Um, and then it comes with this instruction booklet as well, which shows you how to make all the letters of the alphabet plus numbers and a couple of punctuation marks. So this is super handy and um, you definitely want to hang on to this. It's kind of like a lifesaver for me. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to make the letter E. So I'm going to open my book up to E um, so I can kind of follow the directions. All right, well, hold on, let me put that back. There we go. Okay, so you'll notice here on the board, I don't know if you can see really well, but there are a couple different numbers on, on here on this punching place and also under here under the cutting place. And those are just to help you with the instructions to line your paper up in exactly the right spot for each letter or number. Um, and also just to show you on this blade, there's a little notch here and then you've got your blade over here. It's really important to make sure that you put this notch right inside that track, you know, any of these tracks when you're cutting. If it's not placed inside there correctly, you'll, you're going to have problems. So just make sure you get that in correctly. And then it's got this nice handy storage place right here. Um, also here on this punch, um, there are some holes here and those, I'm sorry, not holes, they're circles. And those are just to help you line up your letter as you're punching it so it's exactly in the right spot as well. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna punch a letter E with some of this pretty patterned paper. And for the E, we're gonna start out <clears throat> with this D-shaped punch right here. And we're gonna line up the paper on the number two line, front side up, and then we're just gonna punch. Then we're going to flip it upside down and put the bottom end in, line it up again on the number two, all the way to the top here, and just punch. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to bring it to the cutting section of the board. So I'm going to open that up, and this has a magnet, uh, magnetic arm here, so it closes nicely and holds it really steady while you're cutting. So we're going to place this kind of, like, it looks like a B shape, but we're going to place it upside down here. Um, in the corner right there, line it up directly in the corner, and we're going to cut on all three tracks. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I've got my little notch inside that track before I start cutting. And we're going to cut one, two, three. Now we're going to pull it out, and then we're going to flip it over, sorry, this way. Okay, so flip it over, and then we're going to put that magnetic arm down. And we're going to just cut one time down here at the bottom. Okay, now sometimes um, because this, uh, you know, we don't cut perfectly, right? So if we cut a three by five piece of paper, there might be some imperfections in it and we might place it imperfectly and it might move slightly. So once in a while, you're going to need to cut off a few little imperfections um, just because we're human, right? So and this is not a, an electronic die cutting machine. And so we're just gonna trim that off. Okay, so now we're gonna open up this arm again. And here's a one half inch mark right here. We're gonna place this right along that one half inch mark, close the arm, and then we're just gonna cut off this center piece right here, just a half inch. And I like to hold on to that while I'm cutting it and pull it off. And there's your E, okay? Now for the heart shape. 
Okay, this is a fun trick that is not included in your instruction booklet, so pay careful attention. Um, so first we're going to start with a 5x5 five five piece of paper. All the letters except for letter M and W are 3x5. So, but this time we're going to start with 5x5. Five five. Um, Alright, so we're going to put this in this punch first to make the little valley there for the heart. And I'm, this is the top, okay, and this is the front, so I'm going to put the top inside with the front side up, and I'm just going to punch. Okay, so you're going to see there's the little valley shape right there for the heart. All right, now I've already marked ahead of time the center bottom, and then I've marked on the sides at two inches down from the top on both sides. Okay, so those are important measurements to get the heart shape just right. Middle right here, two and a half, two inches down here, two inches down here. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my cutting feature, and I'm going to cut diagonal lines from the center mark here to this mark out here at the two inch line. Okay, so I'm going to slide this in and I'm going to use these, these lines here as my, my guide. Okay, so I'm going to place the mark here on the bottom there and the mark on the side is going to go right there. I'm going to kind of hold that as I put my arm down. And if it slides at all, Pardon my head if my head gets in the shot. I'm sorry. I'm just going to make sure that's perfect. Okay. So now we're going to put our notch down here in this track, the middle track, and just slice that off. You can kind of see where we're going now, right? Okay. So same thing on this side. We're going to put line up this line and the very bottom line or the very bottom mark and the side mark that we made right there. Okay, now we're just going to do the same thing, slice from the bottom to the top. Okay, and you're going to do that perfectly, of course, but I can't see very well because I'm, I've got a camera over my head, so I can't get down in close. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to work with this side of the punch. This is the corner rounder, this side. This is the valley punch, the corner rounder punch. So we're going to work with this side, and we're just going to slide this corner right in. There's some nice guides there to help you get it exactly where it needs to be. We're going to punch once. Then we're going to pull it out, and we're going to line this straight line up right with this guide right here. Slide that in as far as it'll go, and punch again. Voila, people. See how you've got a nice rounded curve there? Same thing on this side. Slide that corner in. Punch once. Turn it so this is lined up on your guide right there and punch there is a perfect heart okay so thanks for joining me um, this is such a great investment for any crafter um, even if you have an electronic die cutting tool sometimes you don't want to get that out plug it in load it with your stuff you don't want to get your computer out and design something if you just need a quick banner or a quick title on a page or a quick monogram for a card this is definitely your tool Thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dazdle for Scrapbook and Cards Today.